Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm doing an unboxing of Skies Above Britain from GMT Games, designed by Jerry White and Gina Willis. Uh, I'm distracted by the beautiful artwork on the cover. Uh, illustration by Antonis, Antonis Caritas. And if this is just, that's just gorgeous. That's just gorgeous right there. Sorry. Just stare at it for a while. Do, 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 do. No, don't. Anyway, this is a World War II, obviously, uh, defense of um, Britain game um, where the Germans are attacking and you're defending Britain. You're playing the good guys, trying to knock back the evil, the evil Luftwaffe. So this is related to the Storms Above the see, sky, uh, Storm of the Reich, Skies Above the Reich uh, previous games. It's got a slightly different um, bent to it. Um, but it will, it is uh, solo friendly. In fact, it's a SPO, single player only. So you true solo this just playing yourself. You know, unlike uh, other games where you true solo playing both sides, you just have to play this. Silk's hair suitability is high, complexity is a five. Uh, and it plays in about two hours. So let's crack it open and see what comes in the box. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Here we go. It is a thick, heavy box. There's a lot of wooden blocks in here, I believe. All right, so this is Jerry White, who I believe did the Atlantic Chase game as well. Um, Gina Willis has done some, uh, some, other, uh, some other smaller things, I believe. Gina has a presence on board game Gulag. Uh, quite a lot uh, has helped with some player aids for other games I'm not sure uh, what other games Gina might have done so uh, but anyway so we start off here with Skies Above Britain and one thing I'm noticing here and this is I wonder if Jerry has this written into his agreement somewhere or whoever produced this this one has this is the departure from the the wonderful GMT matte finished books. Atlantic Chase had that and they had a few other ones that came out with it and it seemed like it was just a hiccup in their production system that got fixed. But I am noticing that this one here has these glossy, you know, more, less user friendly. Editorial off, here we go. This guy's about Britain, this is an optional book for optional rules, I believe, so they keep that separate. This is a uh, the number, yeah, about 20 page uh, book and it just covers different things you can add in if you want to. It is apparently alphabetical, you can have random events, uh, you are welcome to adopt one or more of these optional rules. So it's larger print than uh, GMT normally does and again the, the, the stock is a little, little more glossy as you can see it's reflecting light here which you know, it's kind of a nuisance. Really wish they'd get away from this again. Anyway, um, so there's an RAF tie-in guy. This is interesting. For instance, for decades, John Butterfield's RAF, West End Games and Decision Games, has remained a popular solitaire war game that covers the campaign on the operational scale. This guy facilitates pairing RAF's Lion with Skies Above Britain. That is awesome. I have RAF, the newest edition. That's really nice. Very cool, very cool. I'll have to look at that as an optional thing to add in, so. Very neat. So that's some of his optional stuff you can do here. So there's a nice little bibliography of books you can read about the, uh, the Battle of Britain and designer notes. Now we have a situational manual. A lot of manuals here. All right, this one is very large. Uh, it's about 52 pages. Introduction, dogfight scenarios, bomber scenarios, intercept scenarios, patrol example, campaigns. These are... Okay, so this situation manual is your scenario book. Took me a little, little bit of time there. So scenario one, a flyby, special instructions. This, this dogfight takes place in the lost contact area, designate a four by six space on your table for that. Your Spitfire is an independent RAF fighter. You engage with a single 109 and a head-on attitude. Start the first round of the dogfight with Step A Combat. So this is gonna guide you through 
I believe. That's one thing that Atlantic Chase did that was awesome, is it really, the tutorial campaign kind of just guided you through the whole process of, uh, of uh, how to play, and that, was, that worked out really well. So it looks like this probably is gonna do the same thing. That's why this is here above the rule book. Would be, would be my guess, in fact. Play to learn, learn to play. This manual will be used in four ways. First, it presents all the information you need to play a campaign, and the game is primarily designed to be played as a campaign. Second, it presents introductory scenarios intended to teach the game. We enjoy learning to play a game by sitting down with it and playing. Playing a full patrol right out of the box is probably too much for most folks. We devised a recipe of scenarios to teach the game part by part. So that's, like I was saying, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool system to, uh, to set it up and play through and learn the game. That's pretty awesome. So we have the situational manual. Again, full color, and then goes through all the scenarios. Gives examples, patrols, and then your campaign, your campaign games, and how to how to set those up. Pretty nice. Now we have the full rule book. Another big, heavy book, and now this is getting even bigger here. Now we're at 64 pages. As introduction, as a dogfight cycle. Uh, the bomber cycle, the interception sequence, the raid vector sequence, return to base, pilot experience, icon results. So when you're learning, you can look up and read the actual rules, and then one day you can just sit down and read all the rules and just just learn it all. You know how everything works. Or this will refer you to the rule book and read the sections you need as you learn. What is a dogfight? A dogfight is a battle between an agile fighter aircraft. Your RA fighters against the Luftwaffe fighters, 109s or 110s. Right, formations, how to sticker your blocks, bomber cycle sequence. Well, I'm excited about this one, especially since I've really enjoyed RAF, so looking forward to this. All right, so there's that. Still got a lot to go. We've barely cracked the surface here of this one, and we've got a lot of stuff to dig through. All right, so we have our sticker sheet here, and we've got uh, yellow Spitfires, we get the leader, two, three, and four. Green, red, and blue. No red five, just red, two, three, four, and the leader. Red so. five standing by. And then we've got stickers for our sections and squadrons and flights. So there is our sticker sheet, which means there's blocks in here. Then we have our pilot roster sheet. And this is it's interesting that they provided this. They provide several copies of this. No, are they the same? No, these are not the same. So let's be smart and look at this. These are on car, heavy, you know, on GMT cardstock. But they're obviously meant to be filled in. So this is the 54 squadron, and this is the 303 squadron, and this is your patrol records. So either you make copies of these onto regular paper, you either uh, laminate these so you can use dry erase to mark off your off your stats. Uh, but it's interesting that they even bothered printing a markup item on very nice cardstock. They would just give you a pad of them or uh, you just download them and print them yourself. So anyway, but these are, these are very nice and how you use them is up to you. But uh, at least the originals will last a good long time if they're, if they're sturdy. And then, there's a lot in this box. We have a chart showing the sequence of play, double, double width chart. Showing the sequence of play, the rated vector sequence, the intercept sequence, dogfight cycle, vector marker results. So a handy ready reference here. And then we have another double one for pilots, the raid vector sequence setup, return to base sequence, green regular veteran ace, and full more details on the interception sequence. And then we've got intercept bombers. If the posi formation's position is trailing, high or low, charts. Formation's position is nose, flank, tail, trailing, Cruise check. All these charts are going to make sense as you follow along in the game, I'm sure, and they'll be invaluable to have there for you. So there's the intercept bombers. Now we have a circle display. 
which this goes on and just on the table. Very nice, very nice production of the the game materials themselves. And you know, I've already said what I'm going to say about the, uh, the the rule book glossiness, but a lot of nice nice charts. Seems like it's going to take up a lot of table space though. So, and you know, they heard my complaint and magically put in a pad of roster sheets. So, what do you know? So there's regular paper copies of roster sheets. Now they're not specifically marked which squadron they are, but there are replacement ones there. And we've got a sheet of counters. Got some 109s, 110s. Uh, it's a heavy squadron. You got some markers for different pilots, A through W, their status of green, you got veterans, evasion, I guess this is where damage would be to the wings, to the fuselage, uh, hit locations. These are not pre-rounded, it's counter sheet one of two. And we're gonna get down to the other ones apparently. But uh, these are not pre-rounded, so these are gonna be the ones you have to punch and uh, trim with the organ laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the right tool for the job. You'll, see that, you'll find a link to that in the description of this video. Pretty well registered, Looks centered. So we'll put that aside. And then these are bomber tiles, one of two. There's counter sheet two, so we'll go into counter sheet two just to keep it in sync. So this is all your standard, look like uh, five eighths inch counters, and these are more varied. You get some five eighths and some elongated ones, and then some larger one inch counters. Inbound vectors, outbound, squadrons, lost contact. We got fades out, that's pretty cool. Channel markers, low ammo, bomber fallen, different airplane graphics. They're closer. I don't know if that indicates a height change or what that's about. When I read the rules, I'll learn how to play it. So those are two sheets of counters. Now we got two sheets of bomber tiles. We've got Dorniers and Hankles. And then these are pre-rounded. They punch out and just like that. Well, we got Junkers on the other side. So we got Junkers and Hankles. And then we've got Dorniers and Junkers. A lot of Junkers. <laughs> Fighting against Sanford and Son. All right, so you get two sheets of those. Now we got some boards. These are all mounted and kind of like um, borderless display. So here's your squadron display. Uh, it's double-sided, so there's obviously a different purpose. So squadron to display for green pilots, regular pilots, veteran pilots. Uh, oh, this is for four. This is for three. Different formations, it would appear. This is the advanced squadron display and the squadron display. Very nice material, very smooth at the joint. Very cool. And then we've got our game board, which is a kind of a squarish four panel simple map. It's got your interception map. So this is your main board. Uh, bomber, talent, uh, tailed, Head-on entailing, escort reaction, Luftwaffe advantage, RAF advantage, markers, or sections. Interesting isometric kind of view here of the of the battle, of the dogfight or whatever's going on. Here's your bomber formation, port, starboard, high, low. Oh, so it's kind of got like a 3D effect. So here's tail, and then you go up, and you go down, trailing down so and so forth so that's pretty cool got your raid track and some reference charts here at the top of the board that's pretty cool so it's small it's just four panels like four uh eight and a half by eleven panels so it's about 17 by 22 and then finally we have 
They have blocks. Bag of blocks, bag of markers, bag of cubes. Obviously the stickers are going to go on here. I'm not going to get those out because you know what it looks like. We have two 12-sided die. That's kind of different. Get red versus blue. Who's going to win? Oh, red one. 10 to 3. So you get two dice, a red and a blue. And then we've got three decks, three packs of cards. From the, the wrapping, we see we have RAF Advantage, Luftwaffe Advantage, and Escort Reaction. So we'll see if these are all the same or if there's many different decks. So we'll start with the Escort Reaction facing. These are very, you know, GMT always makes great cards. Very thick, very functional. You don't need to sleeve them, but you probably should. So this is the Escort Reaction sub deck here. And we've got Tailed, Hurricane. We've got a Hurricane deck, Tailed. And it says, first to say what they're gonna do for the tail. Again, when you learn the game, there it works. All right, so that's for Hurricane. So we got one deck of Hurricane Tail, then we've got some Spitfire Tailed. What Spitfires do. Okay, so we got a Spitfire Tail deck. Then we've got our Luftwaffe Advantage cards. Head on behind you with Heavy Escort and a Rot. It tails your fighter. So Luftwaffe Advantage deck. Then we got some Bomber cards. We got a Light deck. So that's what the Bombers do. We got Light. We got some Medium. So they're all packaged together, but obviously they, um, you know, separate into various decks. The artwork is gorgeous, though. I mean, the yeah, it's very nice. I like the I like the feel. It's evoking whoever uh, whoever developed this one for GMT did a really good job. I really like it, except for the except for the manuals. What's the point? You were right, the horse is dead. Is anyway, then we have RFA advantage, RAF advantage cards. So we got an RAF advantage deck here. Steady, a veteran reduced the swarm to a lone German fighter. Where are you? Green only. A green pilot breaks off and returns to base. So each side has an advantage deck. Let's get these out of the way here. And then we've got head on and tailing for hurricanes. We have a deck for hurricanes. I bet we have a deck for Spitfires too. What do you want to bet? Let's just use our context cues that we learned about in elementary school. So there's Hurricane and there's the Spitfire. And that's it. So those are all the cards here. So Whew. So we have a tailed deck for each and a head-on and tailing deck for each. Woo! A lot in this box. Long video. Anyway, if you pick up a copy of Skies Above Britain, you're going to get three packs of cards that contain all these awesome decks. We've got, we got, uh, we got bomber decks. We've got Spitfire decks. We've got hurricane decks. We've got advantage. Oh, we got advantage decks for RAF and Luftwaffe, and we've got escort reaction deck. You get two dice. We get a bag of blocks here, which is not gonna fit back in because I didn't lay those out correctly. You're gonna get the large game board we took a look at. You're gonna get the squadron display board very nicely mounted you're going to get two sheets of bomber tiles you're going to get two sheets of counters and markers you're going to get a pad nicely of pilot roster sheets that also include the squadron log on the back you're going to get the circle display find out the diameter and the radius and the area and the circumference and all that good stuff you're going to get player aid cards I don't even know what to call these. This is the Intercept Bomber Player Aid card. This is the Pilots and the Raid Vector Sequence Player Aid card. This is the 
something, something, sequence of play, player aid card. You're gonna get the card stock printed 54th and 303 squadron roster cards. You're gonna get you stickers for those blocks. You're going to get the heavy, heavy 64 million page rule book, or 64 page rule book. You're gonna get the scenario situation manual that also comes in at 52 pages. And you're gonna get a small little tiny book of about, when I say 20 pages, for optional rules that you can include, including integrating this with RAF, which is pretty darn cool. So that is everything in this beautiful package, Skies Above Britain from GMT Games, designed by Jerry Willis, and, uh, designed by Jerry White and Gina Willis. Those W last names confuse me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!